we present your idea, the idea? I think you remember. What's the idea you remember? One idea to present is the way cool idea that is in three dimensions. It has shadows. It's in bounds and it's ready. Wow! Great. Very good. Another way to present is in like. In grassy, like way in the uh, way cool. But Jose Maria already did that. And there. What are the What's other the second way to present your idea? idea? But we don't want to do it like this. What's the other way cool? Uh, ugly. Uh, ugly. Don't read. Don't read. Just describe. Like <laughs> but you have to speak in English. And it's, it's, it's not cool because it you only color and do do a ugly. Very and sloppy, it, no? And it's incomplete. Yeah, you don't get you, you don't, don't get the attention of your audience. And then they don't listen to you. So it's important to make it way cool. Show me, show me, Stella, your way cool idea, please. Show us your way cool idea. Michelle will walk around. Show your way cool idea. Michelle is here, Miss John. Hi. Hi. That's Alexia. Hi, Alexia. Nice to meet you too. Hello. Okay. So then, um, who can describe the average idea? Who wants to describe the average idea? Oh, well, Cesar and Sophie. Okay, together, Cesar and Sophie. Together, together, you're a team, remember? As a team, how would you do that in your own words, please? In your own words, what is average for you? That all people can do it. And you are, are you average? No. You're way cool, no? Yeah, and I can see that your, your puppet is way cool. Very good. What? You like it, Alexia? I love it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. Great. Okay. okay. Mariana is here. Yes. So in case in case you want to. Hi, Mariana. Oh, hi, Mariana. <laughs> Ale Alexia will be working today with us because John has to go to a meeting. But you tell us what to do, Alexia. Okay. All right. And now we're going to go over the program primitive. You're going to go to the program we're gonna we're gonna review the program primitive. So can we have a couple people come up to explain these? Oh, okay. So Alexia wants a couple, a team to come and explain the program. Well, we're gonna review one of those. One of the programs. So pull your program. Do you know how to pull your program? Yeah, uh -huh. I put the teams here. Lula, we're gonna present these program structures which we talked about last week. Ah, the program structures. Okay, very good. Okay, here's the team. Hi. Hi. Remember to say your name. I am, I am Emiliano. Emiliano. Ana Regina. And Victor. Okay. Victor, Victor. Enrique, sorry, Enrique. Okay. We're ready. So can you guys give us an example of series and parallel? An example of series and parallel. Who, who can give us an example of series versus parallel? No, but you don't need to read. You have to understand. Tell me the example. Remember last class when we talked about example? Brushing your teeth. 
Ah, good. Dry a car and talk it with the phone. You should not do that, but okay. Oh, no. <laughs> but you can't do that. Because you can have an accident. Those are two things that should happen in serial, for sure. You can't do them together. You mean you you heard that, John? That they say they wake up and they go to school all day and they don't like it. Because <laughs> he doesn't like it. Okay, something that you repeat. Also, another example of repetition. Take a shower. Okay. Walk is repeating too, also. Okay. What else, Alexia or John? What about the conditional statement? The conditional statement. If you're hungry, you eat. And you can die. Like if you don't eat, you will get hungry, they say. <laughs> if you don't go to school, you're not intelligent, maybe. Maybe. Good. Very good. What about a variable? What about variable? Pretty good. The days of the week, they say. The grades of the school, first grade, second grade, third grade. What about a game? What's a variable in a game? The score. What's the variable? Yeah. Yeah. How about what's a variable in a clock? Excellent. Great. Great, Regina. Regina. Did you hear that? I put mini, I put one, I put two. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay. And messages? And the last one. When you talk? When you talk? Uh huh. And chat. But do you remember in your program, what do you do with the messages? What is the what is the function of your messages in your program? You don't know. So how are you going to make your clock work? What's the message when your clock is going to work? No te acuerdas. You're going to find out right now, no? Okay, very good. Guys, that was excellent. excellent. Very good. Thank you. Good job. All right. So, um, Alexia, how about if we just put the program on the board and make sure that every team has this has the program completed? Okay. That's and you can explain any last questions. Uh, Alexia can explain how it works. Scratch program, opening the program You know what up and explain how each section of the code works. Okay. And you can guide them through this. Great. Um, Mariana or Lula? Yes. Um, 
what if uh, we have one member of each team come up and explain to Alexia how what each of these sections of code does so that one person on each team will be able to explain the code while the other two members are programming one member can come up and make sure that uh, they, they understand how each block of code works. Okay, Mariana, and can I watch somebody? You close your feet or just close to the body here? Yeah. And then you go to start the project, and then you will come to the end. Why are you not there?